early. It's really early this morning. It's about 5.15 on a... I don't even know what day it is. Oh, Tuesday. Garbage day. It's Tuesday garbage day. I took the trash in. I feel pretty good. Yep. I'm going to be doing an art talk soon. But before we do that, Kathy uh, is heading to Atlanta to go visit our granddaughter and our kids. And are you excited about that? We're driving the 2019 Cadillac CTSV. Just got passed by a G-Wagon. Taking it easy, we're leaving early. If you're gonna to go to the airport, you always wanna give yourself plenty of time. Remember that car we saw yesterday? What? The tank we saw oh, yeah. on the beach? We saw a rhino uh, driving through Malibu. That's not something you see every day. You see him at the Eliotta show or uh, uh, in in the stable of uh, people that live in Dubai or something like that. I won't see one in Atlanta then. No, I don't think Atlanta will have a rhino. You like this car so far? It's beautiful. It goes back tomorrow and, it, and I'm exchanging it for a Chevy Silverado, big truck. I don't know where I'm going to park that. But <laughs> I have been visualizing driving a, a Silverado. And lo and behold, it's showing up tomorrow. That's pretty cool. So we're just heading to the airport and uh, sending this young lady off.
What's up, G? Well, I am just delighted to be seeing you this morning, Fireball. To, to start off today in the brand new Silverado, we have Paul Grisanti with his performance. That's right. I'm going to sing a little ditty called The Trucker's Lament. Mm -hmm. It's about a new guy driving a big rig. And then turn left. <laughs> okay. And he gets his ways telling him to turn left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he just starts singing. I need 40 acres just to turn this rig around. Turn it's the easiest way right. that I've found. It's a, Some it's guys a, turn it on a dime and others turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres just to turn this rig around. <laughs> Too many people can uh, can sing with ways. Well, there's a way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so today we are uh, we decided to take the most inappropriate vehicle to the to the Porsche Experience Center. There's got to be something there to tow them to wherever they need to go. That's true. We can help out. Yeah, because you know some of these guys are power parkers. They show up with a with a trailer and then unload the vehicle. Right. Right. We, so we can fit two in the back at least. This would be ideal for for someone who was had a really special Porsche that they didn't want to put any miles on. Mm -hmm. They need a Silverado. Yeah, and if any of them break down, we can we can pretty much hold about twenty people in the back. That's right. The back seat is quite luxurious looking. We made it without a hiccup. He hiccuped. We are at the Porsche Experience Center. We made it down. There's a few that are pulling up right now, uh, trying to figure out exactly where to go. But uh, there's some cool ones coming in. Here's one right here. Hello. That's not a Porsche. Yes, it is. Inside the Porsche Experience Center, lots of cool cars in this show. You guys are going to see some neat stuff. They're starting to line up, looking pretty good. This is David. We are at the Porsche Experience, otherwise known as Morning Shift. Yeah, is it? Morning okay. Shift. Yeah. Uh, you have a, a nice, uh, nice little racer behind us. Yeah, it's a little little sport purpose yeah. 911 there. A little, so, little personal hot rod. That's right. That's right. Tell me, how long uh, uh, have you been a Porsche fan? I bought my first 911 in 1975. Okay, so, so a couple a, years. A little while. Yeah, a little yeah, while. Yeah. And then uh, the car behind you, uh, tell us about this. Well, this was a, a little personal project. 
project after having 911s all these years, I wanted to finally build my dream 911. So I built what I call a, a period reminiscent. You know, it's not correct. It's not a tribute. It's not a clone. Okay. And um, but it's a it's a personal hot rod. I'm yeah. kind of a sports car hot rod. I, one foot in both worlds, you know. <laughs> so you got other cars at home too. Yeah, I got a couple. Of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dave's been to uh, Wilson Waves several times. Yeah, we've had the we've had the old classic Mini Cooper there. That's right. That you and your buddies. I know. I know. That's the great stuff. Yeah. So uh, best part about this car for you? What what uh, what really does it for you with this? Thing? It's just so much fun. And it, you know, I was driving out here this morning. Seven in the morning on the Harbor Freeway. Nobody. Oh, did I say that out loud? Yeah. Uh, nobody on the freeway. Just nudging the speed limit, perhaps. Sure. You know? Sure. Of course. And um, the, you know, the sound just echoes off this empty freeway, and it's just so responsive and handles so great. And it's Amazing. Just driving your dream car. How yeah. can it get any better? Yeah. yeah. Anybody you want to plug with regard to the car? That well, on Mark Sir Linden up in Monterey, California, did the body work on the car, and um, they did a great job, and I'm really thrilled. And Fantastic. Andrew. And at uh, Rasant Products in Huntington Beach, built a killer race motor in the car. Porsche experience. This is Tina, Hi. and and uh, you like Porsches. Oh yes. Right, but yes. You, more than just liking Porsches, you uh, your business has found a way to share your love with the rest of the world. Absolutely. Right. Uh, Tina has a, an amazing business. It's a a tour of Europe. Uh, you explain this better than I can. So tell tell these guys about this. Well. It's called Autobahn Adventures, and it came out of an absolute bucket list of my husband's of passion, mm -hmm. wanting to drive this beautiful 911 on the Autobahn, uh, yeah. visit the Porsche Museum, Porsche Factory. When we came back, all of our Porsche friends were so jealous, wanted to do it as well. So, <laughs> And you've been doing this for 16 years. 16 years, so, yep. So basically, you take a group of uh, 50 people, 50 people. You, you take them to Europe, mm -hmm. And yeah. you, you tour all over Europe on the Autobahn, you go to all the Porsche museums yep. and have a spectacular time. And each guest gets uh, the latest Model 911. We'll you provide the cars too. Yep. So you don't have to bring your car. Nope. You're yep. given the latest model every wow. time. Wow. That's spectacular. Yep. I, I can't say anybody would say no to that kind of experience. So what, what's the website where people, where people can go? It's AutobahnAdventures.com. Okay. Simple. All right. Thank yeah. you. Concentrate on eating. Yeah, I would. It watching would. the watching the uh, cars. Oh, big dining room. Look at that. They got a nice one of the turbos, right? And they had uh, they were having difficulty with this handling. That's it from the 
Porsche experience here in Carson. I feel fully experienced. I mean, it's it's not like the Jimi Hendrix experience, although we did see the psychedelic lizard. I don't know what the hell he just said, but uh, we gotta we gotta go have breakfast. Sounds good to me. Thank you.